Hey guys, welcome to a new video. This is an extra update video that we wanted to push out early because we have some big agent updates that we did towards the platform upon user request. So one of the features that you can now access is by going towards the workspace settings in the bottom right corner. And from here, you will be able to see an additional section called agent groups. So you can now add groups of agents together, combine them together to be able to get the best assignment possible. How does this work? Well, if we go towards the top right button plus group, you will now see a series of options. These options, as you can see here, we can give it a group name. So let's say this would be support, right? The assign method can now be random, which will be a round robin method. But we can also do the least assigned. So if we have a live chat agent that ha has not that many tickets assigned, you can go with this route. We know that a lot of users requested round robin. So the random section will be the one that is available to you. The next section would be that you will have the online first, right? So soon as an agent gets assigned, then we will only check if the agent is online. And how we are going to check this, we will mention that in just a few seconds, but it is a really, really important feature. So if you want to do only live assignments, go with this option. Additionally, inside the members overview, the members that you can assign, right? So you can also put in the weighing. And this means that if you increase this number, it means that the likelihood that this chat agent is getting assigned will be much, much greater, right? So you can determine which one you want to have inside of this group and then set the weighing options. So once done, you can go towards say, let's create. And now this group will show in the default overview. You can of course customize it by going with the pencil icon and you can also go with a new group. So for example, if you have a sales team ready, if you have a support team, if you have a developer team, you can create all these kinds of groups. So this is the new group assignment for agents. So we really think that this is an amazing feature to have. So you can now segment your agents into separate groups. And based on these groups, we will also be able to assign the users accordingly. First of all, let us explain what an online status verification is for agents. This works a little bit different than the regular live chat platforms because UChat is much more and the role permissions is a little bit tricky that way. But the way that we track when a live chat agent is online is if they have the live chat section open. This means that if we go towards the live chat for a user, right? This means that we are now able to check and verify that this live chat agent, myself in this case, is currently online. If you move away from this window, that means that we are not able to track whether or not the live chat agent is online. So make sure that you explain in order to check if a live chat agent is online, that they are inside the live chat tab. This could be the live chat tab in the main dashboard overview, or you can also just log into the chatbot, individual chatbots, and go towards the live chat section there. So if we log in real quick, then you will also see that we have a live chat section, of course, for individual chatbots. And that means that we are able to check the agent online status that way as well. Either keep the live chat page open on the dashboard or inside the bot, that does not matter as long as the agent is present on this specific window. So how does this work inside the flow builder? If we are going to take a look at a new flow, so let's say live chat agent assignment. Let's create one. We will now have the option inside the actions to go with the basic actions and then we will have the assign to agent or assign to agent group. So if we take a look at the agent group, you will see that we are having some options here. We can say assign to agent group none. That's totally fine. We have a default group where we choose from a random live chat agent. 
totally random round robin. We can also go with a group two. These are all just presets, right? So this group two will be all users and the least assigned. So this will make sure that not one specific agent will get the issue to having to deal with too many tickets. Well, other agents might have just a few, right? You also have a default group three where we're only going to assign agents randomly, or we can also do group four, only agents least assigned. So the difference between group one and two and three or four is that group one and two assigns all users, all members inside of your workspace, and group three and four only concentrates on the agent role permission itself. Of course, if you don't want to use any of those presets, you already have, as you can see here, a support group set up where we already integrated all of those settings, right? So in this case, the support group has a, a round robin system, a random system, and we also put in the available team members inside there. So this is the way that you can now assign users to a specific group and also choose the method of assignment. We also made a few updates inside the condition blocks where we can now check a few extra agent settings. So if we go with a condition block, then you will have a condition group. And inside, if we say add a condition, we can now go with, let's say agent. First of all, we had last agent interaction in minutes ago. We now also have the available three. So is assigned to a specific agent. This, uh, I believe it was already there, not sure. Uh, but we also have is assigned to an agent that is online, right? So if we go here, as you can see here, then we can go with this condition check. So if the agent has is not online, is not in the live chat tab, then we are able to go with this condition block and assign a different agent, for example. If we go back to the agent verifications, we can also check if the chatbot has any agents available online. If no, you could say, okay, uh, currently we don't have any live chat support, but we will get back to you uh, in the, these and these business hours. And we also have a system field uh, called last agent interaction, where you can check the last agent interaction between a certain time frame. So we could say an operator could be after a specific time frame before the date on, the date between, the time between, the time after, the time before. And you can see that we have a whole bunch of conditions set as well. So with this update, we hope that we have brought you some really powerful and amazing features regarding the assignment of live chat agents, as well as checking their online status and also the last interaction time of that specific agent. Based on all of those conditions and all of those actions, you are able to reassign the agent to an available online agent if the current agent is not online. And all around, you will be able to provide a much better customer support experience for your users. If you have any questions, do let us know. Drop them down in the comment section below and we'll try to help you as soon as possible. For now, have a great day. Take care and talk soon.